Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. Yeah, let's do some jewelry. So no clearance this week since we did clearance all last week. I believe what we're gonna do, let me show you. So where are we? Here, okay? And then I'll see you for purses on Saturday. Uh, next week, next Tuesday the 23rd, Amber, I know a lot of you watch for that. And then we'll do clearance both of these days. Clearance Amber this day at the beginning, and then regular clearance the rest here, and clearance here, and purses. All right, all right, let's do it. Sounds like a plan, Julie. Okay, if you would like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here. I'll tell you exactly what to do. I did finally get my invoicing done yesterday. I'm putting postage on today, and we'll head to the post office tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, cards. Whoops. I said to myself, get your number cards, Julie. And guess what I didn't do? Get my number cards. <laughs> this is getting a little dirty, I noticed. I'm gonna have to clean this. Okay, so I got a pile of sterling and I got this bin of stuff. Okay, let's do it. Uh, first of all, I tested this. I did my homework. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera down just a little bit, you guys. So it's where I'm used to. Sorry about that. Okay, perfect. Um, so I did test this for you guys. Like I said, I was going to. It is vermeil. It is sterling. So it is gold over sterling. It is really, really pretty. Um, the pink stones are glass. The green stones are glass. Okay, so I would say these are colored CZs. They're beautiful. Isn't it pretty? I like the pink and the green together, right? Okay, let's do this. It's a size seven. What is going on here today? Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> it's like a bad chair leg. My husband, we were out to dinner and the table was wobbly. Oh my gosh, he cannot even focus on something like that. <laughs> He got under the table with a tissue and like wadded it up and put it under the leg. I'm like, are you better now? <laughs> I can't take him anywhere, you guys. I cannot. I cannot take him anywhere. Okay, here we go. Let's do, I'm going to ask 22 for that. 22. It's gorgeous. Let's do a little more sterling. I've got it sitting here. Why not? Uh, what are you, you beauteous thing? Oh, come on. I got people waiting on me. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Look at this pendant. Isn't it fantastic? So good. The pearl has a couple little scratches. Look how close you are though, guys. Okay, nobody's gonna be looking that closely, hopefully. Okay, so we have a little druzy here. Um, let's see if these uh, black stones are anything we need to know. Onyx, you guys, onyx. How about this one? Yes, onyx. How about this? Glass? Yeah. Okay, so we have onyx, 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 uh, CZs, and does that read as quartz? Let's see if it's a quartz druzy. Druzies are typically quartz, um, if they're real. Almost to the quartz line, I think it is quartz. Super pretty, sterling silver. It's a chunk of guys. Let's see how big this thing is. Uh, exactly two inches tall, okay? And I am going to ask $22 for this also, $22. Okay, what are these? These are cute, you guys. Look at these little gold stone earrings. Aren't they cute? Okay, hold on, is the other side faceted? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, these don't match. <laughs> All right, so what's the front? I would assume the front is the facet, it is. These are sterling and gold stone lever backs. Let's do 15. 15. And oh, I remember these. They're kind of cute. Wait to see. So it is um, like a mom and child. Mom and baby. Isn't that cool? I thought for a second that maybe my niece, one of my nieces that are pregnant might want these, but then I'm like, ah, I don't think it's their style. So anyway, gorgeous, right? Let's go 15. Those are sterling, you guys. We're in a pile of sterling right here. I'll tell you if it changes. Um, we have this awesome pink ring. 
I love that it's horizontal. It's gorgeous. Okay, so sterling silver and pink, let's see, pink glass. Glass, my friends. Uh, size, Julie. It is a five and a half, you guys. This one is going to be $18. Um, these these kind of match that um, Marcusite ring that I sold the other day. I wonder if the person who bought that's watching. I hope you're watching, my friend. Okay, here we go. Marcusite and Sterling post earrings. There you go. Let's do 15 on those also. No backings on those, guys. This was really cool, but I probably have a knot now because dumb me put a whole bunch of necklaces in here. Oh, it didn't. Yay. Look at this. <laughs> Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Cards don't wobble and they do fall down. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Check this out. Oh my goodness gracious. You guys, oh my gosh, you want to know what that is? I'm not gross, I promise. I was working on one of my models and the glue was on this orange wood and it turned the glue residue orange and I had to like scrape it off. I washed my hands, but it must have stuck to me. Eek! Oh, well, I'm sorry. You're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> when I craft, I'm messy. Okay, here we go. Uh, sterling silver and really pretty little um, like Y pendant. Super pretty, I think. Has a drop of seven and a half inches, you guys. Seven and a half inches. Let's see what these are here. Dun dun. Sapphire, you guys. That's a sapphire. Probably a lab created sapphire. And a CZ. Super, super eek. Come on, Bubba. Look at it. Do you like this, you guys? I'm in love with these things that are combining um, a sterling, sterling with like acrylic or this one I believe is plastic. I just really like it. I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's go 25 on that one. And this one's so cute. Um, if Hub still was uh, flying, I would wear this. He took flying lessons for a little while. He did not get his pilot's license. He stopped, but he loved it, loved it, loved it. Okay, I can't undo this. All right. My guess is that's an eight inch drop. That's my guess. And here's the little airplane. Isn't it so cute? So cute. Uh, let's go 18. Um, that was a bad plan how I did this. I'm like, if I carry it really, really flat and carefully, it will be fine. Well, no, it won't, Julie. No, it won't. Okay, we have a little deer. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Sterling silver. We're still in sterling land. Oh, $12. Um, we have these little earrings that are really cute. They are posts, no backings. This is the marking, you guys. I don't know what it is. I feel like I should know, but I don't. So if somebody does, let me know. Uh, let's go 15. Um, oh, there's the other one of that. Matching up earrings. Matching up the earrings. Eek. Okay, got it. Here we go. <laughs> Look at their little faces. <laughs> I think they're so cute. Let's go 18 on those. Um, okay, we have a Verme bracelet. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's going to be on the bigger end. Oh, it's probably more like an anklet or a large bracelet. It's coming in at a size 9, okay? Size 9. It's beautiful. Let's go 14. Uh, okay. We have, oh, yeah, yeah, Julie. Sorry, you guys. It was a bad plan. It was a bad plan, what I did here. Okay. 
Eek. Okay, here we go. So we have a little angel and opal. I'm thinking this is probably real opal. Let me know what you think. My guess is that because um, it doesn't look like glitter, the edges aren't super crisp. That's my guess, okay? I could be wrong. Um, 925 AI, I think that says, on this nice rope chain, has a drop of eight and a quarter inches. Might be, um, yeah, it's Vermeer on that too. Okay, let's go 25 on that one. I like that it's an angel, like just kind of stylized angel, not like full on angel in that. I really like it. Speaking of angels, <laughs> uh, this is Verme and it is beautiful. Isn't it cool? I love this background. It's like a rhinestone background. I will always be at your side. 925MA. M A and some fuzz, some free fuzz. C N China. Okay, I'm just gonna check this guy. It's probably a little C Z. Oh, fell off. Julie, Julie, Julie. C Z, you guys. Little C Z. Let's go. Fifteen. I have a gold stone and sterling necklace. You guys, I don't remember if I tested this wire. I might need to retest the wire. The necklace is definitely sterling. Um, sometimes you get sterling wire, sometimes not. There it is. I can do that. Uh, it has a drop of eight and a quarter inches. Let's go 18. Blue goldstone, I should say. Uh, okay, we have this one, which is so cool. Usually just see them by themselves, the little um, points. But look, it has like an amethyst. We'll check it. On a box chain, has a drop of nine inches. Let's see if that's amethyst. It is. And let's see if this is quartz. My guess is that it probably is. Yes, it is. All right, so an amethyst and quartz necklace, super pretty. Let's go 20. And then we have this. I believe this is the ohm symbol, you guys. I'm not positive though. I believe I've shown it before and there's a couple different ohm symbols. This is one specific one. Um, that's why I'm not positive. It's not the ohm symbol that Hubs used to have a necklace of years ago. <sighs> Guys, I don't know about this chain. I think it might have been Verme. It is Verme and Sterling. Um, there it is. It has a drop of seven and a quarter inches. Let's go 20 on that. The pendant's pretty heavy, a lot of Sterling. Then we have this baby. And I'm gonna do this, you guys. So I have this chain. I haven't changed it yet from this look. The cross is not sterling on this, okay? But this chain is. So I'm gonna put this pretty pendant on this pretty chain, okay? So this will have a drop of eight and three quarter inches. And here's the pendant. It is verme and sterling. Uh, there's the back, I-B-B-C-N China. Uh, I think you're looking at some CZs here, but let's see. Maybe it'll be a white topaz. Who knows, right? CZs. Get some CZs, you guys. Some CZs. Interesting. Interesting, interesting turn of events, my friends. Let's try and really stay on this time, Julie. Urgh. I'm sorry to all the little puppers out there that hate that. My doggy hates it, too. He's probably like, I'm going to go outside. Thank you. I'm trying to get on these little stones. I was just about to say, will they put diamond accents with a cubic zirconia center stone? And I don't know because I can't stay on. <laughs> Someone tell me. Someone, please save me. All right, hold on. We're going again. 
It is moving, guys. Um, like it's going like it's gonna, but um, it could go to white topaz to topaz. <sighs> that was a big sigh. Sorry. Hub says I'm like famous for sighing, and Mama says I do too. I sigh all the time. Ah, oh, you guys. All right, I quit. There you go. It's beautiful. Uh, twenty five. I don't know what you got there. They might just be a whole bunch of CZs, but I can't tell you because my skills are not great. <laughs> you guys, I'm in love with these. When I pulled these out of the box, I was like, yes, they're so cool. Check it out, you guys. Aren't they fun? They're like not perfectly straight and I think it makes them awesome. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love it. My guess is these are probably citrine. Um, let me eek. Let me check that for you. How's that? Um, interesting. Let me check that again. Let me test that again and I'll tell you what it's doing. Nope, citrine. Okay. Uh, any markings we should know about? I don't see any. All right, these beautiful earrings are going to be twenty. Twenty dollars. Um, okie dokie. Tangled up the. Okay, I got it. All right. Here we go, we have a little cross, like a Celtic cross on a Figaro chain. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I think that chain was Vermeil. So the reason I struggle with that a little bit, you guys, is because sometimes sterling um, tarnishes in almost a yellowish color. It's an eight and a quarter inch drop, you guys. I think it is just sterling. Uh, let's see what the stone is. It is a very, very pale green color. And it's peridot. And it's absolutely beautiful. Let's do... I'm going to do 25 on that also. Okay. We have this thing. Look at this. Sterling little pendant. Isn't it fun? Look at my marking. There it is. <laughs> All righty. Let's see what these are. My guess is CZs, but hey, we should check them, right? Hold. Please hold. We have to try again. How about this one? This one's going to be the lucky one. I can feel it. Okay, I think they're CZs. Yep, CZs. Isn't it pretty? Look at the sparkle. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> it's a big in, you guys. It is a big in. Let's go 18 on that one. I have these little cutie huggy earrings. They are rose gold vermeil. I can't get the other one. <laughs> Sometimes fingernails suck. Okay, here we go. Rose gold vermeil. Super, super cute. Uh, maybe a little bit of wear there or it needs to be polished. Little huggies. Aren't they cute? Let's go ten dollars. Um, we have these guys. I think these are faux. No, real. They were real. Okay, so we have like a bronze color pearl stud, sterling silver um, posts. Let's go ten dollars on those. All right, we have a swallow, as in the bird <laughs> pendant. There you go. Let's go 12 on that. Next bin. Next sock bin. Here we come. Okay. I think it is like citrine earring week, guys. Haven't we had a lot of citrine earrings? Check those out. Look at the little hinge. Eek. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's see. Is it citrine? What do you guys think? I think yes. Ooh, the yeses have it. They are citrine and they are gorgeous. Uh, $20. Beautiful, beautiful earrings. Okay, what else have I got in here? I got some 
charms and stuff. Okay, so I have a cross pendant. <laughs> Fuzz from the box. There we go. Um, Pope John Paul II, uh, Sterling, Denver, Colorado, $8.93. Okay, let's go $12 on that. Um, I have this little Art Nouveau lady charm or pendant. Isn't she beautiful? I think so. Eek. I really like her. She's marked sterling. Uh, let's go $10 on that one. And I have this little itty bitty heart charm or pendant. Let's go $10 on that one too. That was sterling too. All right, that's my sterling box, but there might be sterling in the stuff I'm going to show you too. Let's just take a look. How's that? I'm going to go through a bunch of earrings. I'm going to use everything that's on a card first because it's the easiest. So we've got earrings and brooches coming at you. Are you ready, folks? Let's do this. Okay, we have these guys. Uh, they are clippies. They go this way. It looks like one has the pad and one does not. Let's go two dollars. We've got these. Ooh, these are cool. These have a little 80s, 90s feel to them, don't they? Uh, not 95. Okay. <laughs> one inch um, gold tone posts. Let's go four dollars. Okay, we have some Edgar Baribi, I believe is how you say it. Surgical steel posts. These are cool. Look at that print on there. That's cool. Um, they're original $14, $14 down $7.99. This is actually a pretty good brand, you guys. Um, let's go $6 on those. Okay, these are cool. Oh, look what, look at, they have to be repaired. Do you see this one hangs way down here? And that one's there. Oh, hold on. These might not be, these might need a real repair. Yeah. This stone, uh, this bead, which is acrylic, uh, the piece slides up inside. Okay. So what would I do in my world of crafting? I would probably um, just replace this whole thing with a new bead and a head pin on both sides. Yep, that's what I would do. Posts. Not the same. You are right, Mama. All right, let's go two dollars on those. I'm surprised those aren't signed. They're really nice. We have some potato pearls, pearl reel, on little silver tone hooks. How about seven? Seven dollars. Oh, these are pretty. Look at the rose gold tone hoops. Those are nice. A little bit of scratching. Nothing crazy inch and a half. Let's go four dollars on those. We have these guys. Those are cool. Those are posts. Inch and a quarter. Let's go three dollars on those. And then if you like the swirl action, here's a pair in silver tone. Um, posts. Inch and a quarter. Let's go three dollars on those. We have these. Oh, these are pretty, huh guys? Gold tone Roman, three quarters of an inch. Let's go six dollars on those. And we have these. I think my mom had these earrings when I was a kid. They are, oh, they're Richie Lou. And they are clips, inch and a quarter. Let's go eight dollars on the Richie Lou. Then we have a brochy poo. <laughs> Nothing in circles. Okay, so there's three circles with nothing in them. Oh, right there. Do you see them? Okay, let's go $5. We have this brooch, gold tone and faux pearl, two and three quarter inches. Let's go $5 on that one. Then we have this one. This is cool. Look at that. Tiger's eye. Probably some jade. Let's see. Not an inch by this. An inch and uh, five eighths. Nephrite on the green. Um, that's reading on the garnet line, so maybe it is a garnet. This one. That's pretty. I like it. Let's go. Um, hold on. I think I see a name. Uh, I do, and it says 
Nope, I don't see a name. It's 120th 14 karat gold filled. Okay, makes sense now that I'm looking at it. Uh, let's go 10, $10 on that one. Oop, I need a new bin. $10. And we have this gold tone brooch. It is two inches wide, $5. Okay, let's get some more cards. Let's get all the cards out. Let's do it. Look at those little door knockers. Those are nice. Black and gold tone. Oh, they're crown trafari, you guys. Crown trafari. You know what? Let's look at the mark because it will give us an idea of age, too. Okay, there's no mark. Am I missing it? Oh. Interesting. So that's a crown trafari mark, Mom? She says there's a crown and a C and a T, which would make me think crown jafari also, but I didn't know they did that. Okay, well, let's look at it, but this post is wobbly, so I'm probably not going to charge that much anyway. How are we doing this? Okay, I can't see that. Do you guys know of a crown jafari mark like that? That's interesting. All right, let's just do two dollars on those. Okay, we have these little bite base scarabs. Yeah, they're cold to the touch, so they are gemstones. So this is um, rhodonite and maybe some onyx. Let's see. Genuine gemstones, it says, and I think the black is glass. <laughs> Well, who knows if this is the card that came on. So my guess is uh, Rhodonite and Glass. Okay, Gold Tone, Post, 2-inch Drop. Let's go $6 on those. We got a little boho feel. Don't they kind of look like a um, guitar pick? So we have some uh, brass and some silver tone. Oh, one of the little springs is missing on one of those. I'll change these, you guys. If this sells, I'll change the ear wires to, what do I have over here? Would you like to look with me? Oh, good, you would? Oh, good. <laughs> um, all right, we'll go silver tone and match that part. Okay, so I'll put on one of these if you guys buy these. Uh, $5. I thought I had brass. I do at Mama's, not here though. Okay, next. What is this? I want this. Ooh, those are cute. A little gold tone door knocker style. Three quarters of an inch. Let's go $5. Those are nice. I'm surprised they're not signed. They feel nice. Okay, a couple more on the card. And I think we've done just about all the cards. Oh no, there's more here. Ew. Okay, lots of earrings, but I'm liking getting real cards. Because the cards are so easy. They make my life easy. Easy, I tell you. Are you okay with a bunch of earrings? I promise I'll show you something else too, but let's go through these. Okay. We've got some ivory, uh, like uh, enamel hoopy guys in gold tone posts. Let's do $4 on those. Oh, there's the back. Doo -doo. There we go. Okay, put that up there. We have these, which I think is acrylic to look like Mother of Pearl. It's cold though, so maybe it is real Mother of Pearl. Silver tone hooks. Interesting, look at that. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna test those and let you know. I think those may be sterling. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> ivory enamel, silver tone, there's some pitting. Let's just do a dollar on these. We have some lever backs, not 95. Are they real or faux? My guess is faux. What do you guys think? Yep, faux. Let's go $3 on those. We have a pair of 1928 posts. Let's see, they're $11. These are definitely vintage. No. UPC. Very cool. Let's go six dollars. 
I love the shape of these. I've sold these before. I just really like them. They're ivory acrylic and gold tone, $5. Oh, look at these, you guys. Look at those. Two inches. They are clippies. A little bit of hair left behind. <laughs> those are in great shape, and I am very surprised these aren't signed. Very surprised. Oh, hold on. What does that mean, guys? Anybody? 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 Tell me. <laughs> Five dollars. Um, okay. We have like a matte finish black square earring. There's some light scratching. Uh, they are Monet. They are posts. Let's go five dollars on those. Um, and these edges are like a um gunmetal. Did you see the number? Apologies. Five dollars. Uh, we have these little studs. Faux pearl little studs, posts. Let's go. I'm saving those. Bing. Those are going to go in a little baby girl box that I'm starting for my niece, my great nieces. Okay, Liz Claiborne vintage earrings, $14. They are clips. Let's see. This one has a UPC. Um, I just want to see Liz Claiborne besides on the card, and I don't see it here. I suppose Liz Claiborne isn't that great of a awesome of a brand that I need to be checking that badly, but they are not marked. So I guess it could have been, this could be a different card that they're on. Um, so bear that in mind. Um, $3. Some gold, gold tone, beautiful little hoops. Those are nice. They're in nice shape. Uh, 14K. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, my little friends, we're going to test those. Want to test with me? Maybe we'll test at the end and we'll do those couple things. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, these are covered in like hairspray or something. Yeah, gross. I agree. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are clippies. They would go this way. These are cool. A little bohemian feel to them. Yes, they are brass. Um, and acrylic. Let's go five dollars on those. We have these clippies. Monet, inch and a quarter. They would go this way. Let's go five dollars on those. Those are a nice shape. Uh silver tone. Looks like we've got some wear and stuff here. Let's go a dollar on those. Acrylic. Ugh. Dyed Howlet. Uh, we have some little uh, post earrings. Faux pearl. Bent and wiggles. Okay, a dollar. Post bent and wiggles, you guys. So only a dollar. These ones are scratch. Oh, no, look. It's juj. I'm telling you, it's hairspray. Hairspray, all the vintage earrings are always covered in hairspray. Two different backs, that's fine. Inch and a quarter, let's just go $3 because you gotta clean them. Uh, we have these little hook wires. These are the cool hooks I like. They're like more substantial. Gold tone, they're an inch long. Let's go $3 on those. And last pair of earrings. Uh, these are little clippies, these are really cute. Um, I would say these probably are vintage, faux pearl, super sweet. Let's go five bucks. All right, let's do it. Okay, this is marked, um, Mylor Italy 95. Is it early? All right, we're going to test that. Hmm. All right, we'll test that. Okay, oh, I see a critter, you guys. Hello, Buzzy Bee, how are you? We have a little bee critter, it is new. This one is gonna be $7. Super sweet. All right, we need more numbers. Come on already, numbers, get over here. I'm wicked crooked, huh? Am I like the Leaning Tower of Pisa? The Leaning Tower of Jewelry. <laughs> Okay, what is this? This, I want to look at this. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. We've got a problem. 
Okay, this is really awesome, but the clasp has fallen off. So let's look at it together. Somebody made this cool necklace with some jasper and maybe some agate. But look, one end of the clasp is off. Here's an extra bead and there's a clasp in here. It's a 17 and a half inch total length, you guys. You will have to fix it, but I think it's still worth, um, I'm putting it away without showing you because I'm afraid I'm going to lose everything. There we go. Uh, let's go 12, $12. It's really pretty. All right, next bin. Ooh, some J. Crew. Let's look at some J. Crew. I got a couple here. We got some J. Crew. All right, maybe a little bit of light wear on the back. 22 inch total length. I would say there's probably light wear everywhere um, on this chain. And mama says there's a crooked rhinestone near the center, right there. Yeah, this one's good. Got some issues. Let's go $8 on that one. And we've got another one. Do you know what? Okay, forget it. I the stuff in this bin's been tested, but that's all right. We're gonna test those three things. All right, we got a J. Crew. This is fun. Look at them. They're like little flowers. They are dusty. It's from that lady who kept them, kept them displayed. Her J. Crew collection. Okay, this is being naughty. Is it not J. Crew? Yes, it is. All right, so this one has a 22 inch total length. Those are navy, you guys. Fifteen. Fifteen dollars on that one. Um. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's fun. That's fun. I don't know what this is. Every time I see something that looks vaguely like this, I want to say bloodstone? Dragonstone? But I don't know, you guys. If I'm being honest, it's very, very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Look at the different colors and shapes in that. Ooh wee, I like it. Um, it is a 20 and a half inch total length. It looks like uh, we have a brass jump ring and a silver clasp. Let's go 25 on that one. $25, please. Okay, I showed these a long time ago. I bought them for myself. They are Liz Claiborne. Um, they were never worn. Here's the tag, though. I cut it off. Uh, there is some light scratching on them, though. Um, must be from storage. Aren't they beautiful? Uh, rose gold tone, silver tone, yellow gold tone. They are measuring in at 8 inches. And I'm going to ask 30 for the stack. $30. Oh, you know what, guys? If somebody buys these, I'm going to donate them to um, the money to suicide prevention in New York City. Where... The lovely Miss Kate Spade used to live. Okay. Ow. I wrecked my finger. Kate Spade committed suicide in case you guys don't know that. Okay, here we go. Faux pearl gold tone necklace. It's a long one. <laughs> 15 and a quarter inch drop. It's Liz Claiborne LCI. And it might... Oh, no, that is a clasp. I was thinking it was two um, lobster claws. Uh, let's go $8. Oops, two numbers. Stop. Made a mistake. $8. Sorry about that. It's been known to happen once or twice <laughs> that I made a mistake. <laughs> All right, this is marked um, Mylore Italy. This is a really cool necklace. Um, I'm surprised Mama didn't make off with it. This is uh, an eight and a half inch drop because she likes the fishing lures, remember? <laughs> Super pretty. Um, let's go 18 on that one. Uh, okay, we have a Monet faux pearl necklace in a gorgeous color. It's like silvery, gorgeous. There's the Monet and the cool clasp, too. Um, okay, that's interesting. I feel like a piece of the clasp is not there. Do 
So you see, doesn't it usually have a little tab that sticks up? Okay, I'm gonna mess with that off camera at some point. I feel like it's broken. Look at this. I love this gold color. Um, 18 inch drop, so it's a long one. Let's do a drive-by. There's a clasp. There it is. <laughs> this reminds me of Monet Gold, doesn't it? It's a nice piece. I'm surprised this isn't signed, you guys. Super cute. Super cute. Super cute. She's super cutie. <laughs> Let's go eight bucks on that one. Oh, hello, my friend. Did you come because I was singing? <laughs> no, you run when mama sings. All right, so this is a Byzant Byzant Byzantine chain. I think that's how you say it. Um, that's what this chain style is. Super cool. Uh, she's a chunker. A honka, honka, chunka, chunka. It's Mark 925BA. Um, it has a hook clasp. 18-inch uh, total length. I'm going to do, I'm going to go 25, you guys. It's heavy. I like that Byzantine. Is that how you say it? Byzantine. I think so. I think we're going to go for an hour today, guys, because I would love to finish this bin. Okay, so we have a little uh, push clasp, faux pearl. Look at how long this is. Oh my gosh, my arm is not going to make it. It's a beautiful like ivory color faux pearl 29 and a half inch drop you guys drop so what does that make it is it opera length no clue <laughs> okay i have a trafari brooch i'm looking for a crown yep crown trafari brooch white enamel it looks like it needs a good cleaning lots of judge actually hold on i'm gonna use my sweater for that one petal. We can see how clean it's coming. Oh yeah, check it out. Much cleaner. Okay, gold tone, white enamel, love this. Let's go $10. Okay. Oh, I just grabbed a little sterling pile, you guys. Sterling City, we're here. Okay. We got this little guy, probably a real pearl. It kind of looks like a potato pearl. Okay, and that little chain. Um, this one has an eight and a half inch drop. Let's go. Um, sorry guys, I started thinking about something else. <laughs> 18, $18. I started looking at these going, okay, were these tested? Yes, these were tested. <laughs> oh, I just like to make my life difficult. Here we go. That's cool. Marcusite, sterling silver. Um, I think we might have a missing Marcusite. I have to cough, you guys. <coughs> and shut off my phone. Sorry about that. There's a missing Marcusite right here. Do you see it? It's hard to see. You can only see it at nostril hair close. Um, eight and a quarter inch drop. Let's see what that stone is. That's a bummer. It's missing a marcasite. It's glass, you guys. Oh, uh, let's go. I'm gonna still go 15. That's a lot of sterling. $15. Uh, oh, what's this? This looks interesting, you guys. Interessante. I always like these ones, don't I? I'm always like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> Whenever, like, there's this, like, heavy pendant kind of thing and a V, I always am drawn to them, aren't I? Uh, okay, so this is an eight and a half inch drop. Uh, it is sterling silver. And the stone is topaz. Blue topaz, you guys. Uh, let's go, I'm going to go 25 on this one. 25. Next. You know what I just realized, guys? I have not done any hard goods this week. <laughs> I 
keep forgetting. It's so hard to change your like routine. Uh, these are sterling. I want to say those are just acrylic, you guys. Plata. I think that means beach. No, playa is beach. I don't know what it says. <laughs> $15. <laughs> Laya, P L A Y A, Plata, made plated. Hmm. I don't know. Somebody tell me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have these beautiful little earrings. Um, I think that's called an Omega Clasp. And they are Onyx. Gorgeous. Let's go 18 on those. We have some sterling. Those were sterling. Sterling clippy puffy hearts. Oh, these are cute. Are they Mexico? Let's check. Uh, I think they probably are. Julie, try the other earring. Oh, what a great idea. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah, I think that's Mexico. There's a CO. I think so. All right, unless that's something company. Arr, let's look again. No, it's Mexico. M E. Yes, it's Mexico. Okay, we're good. We're we're all good, guys. Let's go twenty on those. A lot of sterling on those again. Um, let's pull this bin out. I haven't been using those because they didn't work as well as I was hoping. I'm gonna have to rebag things, guys. Look at how pretty these are. They're so cute. Sterling silver. Um, really, really pretty. Let's go 15. And forgive me, but I have to bag because I'm out of sock bins. Okay. What are you, my little friend? Okay, we have lever backs. Kind of like a lever and a hook had a baby, huh? All right, let's see. Red stone. Garnet, friends. Garnet earrings, and they're so pretty. Garnet sterling earrings, $15. We have to bag the jewelry. All right, we have some coin pearls. This looks like Israel to me. Let's see. Let's see if it is. Let's see how I'm doing. Hooks, coin pearls, leaves. Oop. Oh, look at guys. I'm getting better. Israel. I had a feeling. These are going to be $20. $20. Some beautiful jewelry comes out of Israel, you guys. Holy guacamole. Okay. Uh, hook part, not sterling. Okay, so these are sterling except the hook part. Okay, so if you have to have sterling, you don't want these. Lever backs. Really cool. They remind me of camphor glass. Is that how you say that or is it chamfer? Camphor? Chamfer? And some real pearls, looks like. Uh, let's go 15 on those. Hook, not sterling. Let's put that back in the bag. Thank you, Nate Note. So 15 on those. Okay, we've got another bag of earrings. Guys, it feels like this was clearance. I feel like I'm seeing things I've seen, so I apologize if it is. Maybe it's not, maybe I've just seen it before. Okay, we have this one. We have some sterling and uh, vermeil. Really, really beautiful. Let's, um, let's do some testing here. What are you? Glass. Amethyst. Oops. Peridot. Okay, so let's look closely. This is really neat. It's coming up as glass, so maybe like a moon glow kind of thing. I don't know. Amethyst and peridot. Uh, let's go. I'm going to go 18 on those. Okay. Eek. $18. Bag them up. 
Bag them up, people. Bag them up. Okay. We have these earrings. I did my work on these to try to figure out who VE is on these, you guys. And I wasn't able to do it. Okay, I did all the things that I show you. And I was not able to figure this one out. So, my guess is there's something special. Okay, that is my guess. My guess is they're probably native. Again, that's my guess. Um, and I'm going to ask $40. $40. Yeah, I'm going with it. I'm going $40, you guys. $40. I'm doing it. Okay, what are you? Oh, look at These are sterling. Those last ones were sterling, too. Little Zuni bears. Aren't they cute? Looks like they're a little bit different color of turquoise, but I think that's okay. Uh, let's go 18 on those little posts. $18. Okay, what have we got now? Ooh, some more J. Crew. Have you? Have you some J. Crew? Well, yes, I will. Thank you. All right, we have this piece here. That's cool. Um, with some light green, clear, black, ivory. This one's a nice shape. It has a 20 inch total length. Maybe a little bit of wear back there on this one. Um, let's go 15 on that one. Oh shoot, I got a bag. I got a bag. Our mama and dad are gonna quit. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? This is like 90s terrificness. I love it. Look at that. Black and gold. It's awesome. I love this. Not signed. I'm very, very surprised. 17 inch total length on this one, guys. Uh, ten dollars. That's a really nice. This I can't believe it's not signed. Honestly, ten dollars. Ooh, ooh, this is fun. I didn't keep this. This is fun. We have a ring, silver tone, fun little acrylic pieces, faux pearl. This is fun. Not marked. Let's get a size. It's a nine and a quarter. Let's go $8 on that one. $8. Bag her up. Like, batter up. Did you hear it? <laughs> okay, what? Oh, shoot. Dropping things. What else do we have here? We're not going to finish this bin. That's what. Okay, we have this little vintage -y necklace. I think these are glass, you guys. That's my guess. A little bit of judge on there. Yep, it comes off. Nasty. Uh, this is a 17 and a half inch drop. Um, I'm going to go $10 on that one. Oops. Yeah, that one's a pain to bag. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. Oh, I forgot I wanted to test. All right, I'm going to go to an hour and then I'll test. And if you don't want to see testing, you can, you can say bye. But I will price those three pieces. Um, there we go. This is Monet, you guys. It's a little collar necklace. It's an eight and a half inch drop. I'm going to give you a total length on this one. I like to do total lengths on this if I can, on the collar styles. Let's see. 16 inches, you guys. So that one worked well on this drop. Looks like there's a little bit of wear on the back. Just be aware. Be aware of the wear, my friends. Monet. No cards. Eek. Alrighty. Monet, let's go eight bucks. This is taking forever having to bag these things. Okay, I have a sterling necklace and pendant for you. Eek. There we go. It's like a little question mark. A little hair, lovely. <laughs> And a long box chain. This one, this chain has a 14 inch drop, you guys. 
Let's go 25 on that one. $25. $25. And, oh, we have another Monet. It's Monet Day. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This feels nice, you guys. This feels so nice. Monet, a big, fat, sneaky chain. That is fun. Okay. Uh, 11 and a half inch drop. I am going to go 12 on that one. $12. It looks like it's in like new condition, by the way. By the by, my grandma used to say that. By the by. Okay, this is marked 999 and Lisa. No, it's marked USA. <laughs> Mom, that says USA. Put your glasses on. Just kidding. <laughs> 999 means it's um, almost pure silver. Okay, guys, let's do a little drive-by. This is beautiful. So it's 99.9% .9 pure silver, okay? This is an 11 and 3 quarter inch drop. And I'm going to ask 40 for that. $40. The heat will not stop blowing. Alexa, set the heat to 62. Holy heat guacamole. Set to 62. You have to slow down. You're killing me, Alexa. Heat, whatever you are. We have a little vintage brooch. It is gold tone and green. I think acrylic. Um, it's an inch and quarter by an inch and a quarter. I'm going to ask. I'm gonna go eight dollars on that one. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I was gonna try out this new system where everything has to go in a bag. Hopefully bags I can just drop in, but not like this. This is called, thanks mama, a channel cable chain. You're amazing, $30 online, thank you. Lobster claw clasp, 30 inch a drop. It's a long one, you guys. It's in beautiful condition. I'm surprised this isn't signed. Let's go $12. $12, well, is that Sterling coming up? Because that is really cool if it is. I mean, it's cool no matter what, but it would be even cooler if it is. All right. What are you? I need to see you. No, you're silver tone. 35 and a half inch total length. There is some wear. Um, there's your clasp. Okay. So there is some wear. It might just wipe down. I am not sure. Oh, that's kind of fun. Look at it. If it goes like that, because you could go like that, or you could go like that. That's fun. All right, let's go um five bucks five bucks five bucks all right we have some sterling earrings coming up the backings are not sterling what does that backing say that backing says 925 i think hold on i'm very curious i'm very curious what do you say no the backing is avon <laughs> the backings are gold tone and do not match the earrings and they, uh, these earrings are marcasite, sterling silver, and maybe some garnet. What do you guys think? Let's see. No, guys, they're glass. They're still beautiful. Let's go 15 on those, okay? $15. And what have we here? These are also sterling silver. They're an Omega clasp earring with that beautiful green. Wow, it's like almost like a aqua color. It might be green amethyst, guys. It's reading on the quartz amethyst citrine line. So you guys decide what you want. Eek, gorgeous. Let's go 15 on those also, 15. Okay one odd stone it is an odd stone it is very dark <laughs> one odd stone is it darkened or somebody changed it 
I guess you could wear it like this and it would be like the North Star leading the way. <laughs> All right, we have a little vintage gold tone brooch and pendant. Um, let's just do five bucks on that one. It's very pretty except for that little stone problem. Five dollars. Um, oh, a spider. A spider, you guys, a spider. Faux malachite spider, silver tone. It's new brooch and pendant. This one is going to be $5. $5 spider brooch, that's a bargain. $5. Uh, 925 Mexico. All right, sterling silver, like beachy bracelet. Fish, sand dollar, a shell. Let's look at the marking. I wasn't sure what the letters were on this. Where is it? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I didn't even see the tag. Very hard to read, but there it is. Okay. Seven inch total length, you guys. That's going to be 15. Okay. We have a tennis style bracelet. Uh, it is Vermeil, and guess who it is? Guess, guess, guess. <laughs> it's Ross Simons. It's always Ross Simons, right? Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, Vermeil, it's in great condition. Uh, everything works. The clasp itself is not sterling, but the rest of the bracelet is. Oh, it's on. Stop trying, Julie. There you go. It's coming in at a size seven, you guys. And this one is going to be $20. $20. All okay, $20. Oh, we're at an hour. Okay, I'll just do these two pieces that are still in front of me. And then we'll test. How's that? Let's do it. All right. We have a little, um, <laughs> a little brochy poo. Maybe vintage, maybe not. Hold on. Let's close this because I'm definitely going to get stabbed if I don't. All right. Forget it. I got to go off camera. What am I doing? Just trying to make my life difficult. That's what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't close it. <laughs> Two bucks. <laughs> I don't know if it closes. I can't close it. It's being annoying. I think it probably was closed, and now I just can't. Two dollars. And last but not least, it's a J. Crew. It is a black and a brass. Uh, total length, uh, nope, it's a seven and a half inch drop. I showed you the J. Crew, right, didn't I? There you go. Uh, this one's gonna be 15. 15, needs a wipe down. Okay, let's test. Let's do it. Let's test. Let's test. Okay, move this out of the way. Eek! The bustless bust is falling apart. There we go. And get my testing stones. Hi, Bren. I'm almost done, baby. Is it almost your dinner time? Yeah, because it's probably early, but you keep creeping. Creeping, creeping. Creeping up. Creeping the time up. <gasps> you guys, I totally forgot to show you something. I finally remembered to bring the diamond up. So this was what was in the um, pocket of that purse that Dad found. Watch this. And then you pull this out. Look at... Look at it. And... It's in an Ace Hardware bag, which is funny. It tests as a diamond. Can you believe that? <laughs> Isn't that so cool? All right, let me put it back in here so I don't lose it. I think I'm gonna sell it to Maureen. I think Maureen, no, I know Maureen buys diamonds. If someone's interested in it, you could let me know. Okay, let's test. I can't believe I forgot to show you that earlier. I've been dying to show you that. 
All right, let's check these guys, these little Mother of Pearl earrings. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, pretty sure those are sterling. Check the mark. Um, We're going to test these on the gold stone in a second. And we're questioning if this is verme. You didn't even really see this one. Okay, so I have my guesses for sure. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it is pretty obvious that this one is not sterling. And that's because you can see a lot of copper. When you see a lot of copper, means it's copper underneath the plate, the gold top, the gold tone. Oh, yeah. We've got sterling, not sterling. Okay, see the difference? All right, so we have some sterling and mother of pearl hook earrings. Let's go $15 on those. And then this guy, even though it's not sterling, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll wait till you guys see. It's a gold tone box chain. I am really surprised this isn't signed. Um, and it comes down to this piece of like agate. It's absolutely beautiful. Check it out. So, so nice. Um, did I have a length on this one? Why don't I just measure it instead of doing that? That would be smart. Uh, 15 inch drop plus the extender, you guys. I am going to do, I'm going to go $10 on that one. That's a good one. $10. Um, put that right, right there. Okay, let's check these earrings. We're going to do some gold testing. Now they say 14K. Okay. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> Sorry, my nose was itchy. They feel, I, I believe these probably are gold for a couple of reasons. I like the color of it. And I also like how light they are. <laughs> Means they didn't use a ton of gold because gold's expensive, right? So I'm just looking at my scratch. We're going to make a little scratch there, a little scratch there, and a little scratch there. And we're going to do 10K. Okay, we're going to do 10K, 14K, 18K. 18K is what we checked the silver with. Um, this one's 10. So if it's 14K, the 10 line should stay. Okay? The scratch also looks really good. You see how it looks like gold, guys? If it's 14K, the 14K line should stay, okay? And if it's 14K, the 18K line should disappear. And with gold, I like to give it a minute, okay? Give it a minute. While it's working, I'm going to grab my scale. What drawer is the scale in? Oh, here it is. All righty. How's it looking? Oh, it's looking good, guys. Looking good. Hey, Alexa. Oh, whoops, I don't have to say hey. Uh, what is the 14 karat gold scrap rate today? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, today 14K gold price in the USA equals 36.212 US dollars per gram. By the way, you have a new notification. Do you want to hear it? No, I'm busy. <laughs> hmm, I don't know that. Okay, so it is 2.93 grams, okay, and it's about 60, um, sorry, 30, $33 a gram, is that what it said? Uh, there we go, guys, they are 14K, can you see it? Line stayed with 10, line stayed with 14, line disappeared with 18, okay? Um, and I'm, you know what, I've never asked Alexa that, so I'm just going to peek, it's probably the right scrap rate. Uh, okay. Um, scrap rates. Okay, I went to recycling. Come on, Julie. Let's do this right, please. Gold and silver scrap rates. Where's the one I like to use? All right, anyway, you can use like any of these guys. Um, Oops, that's not what I wanted. That's not an ad. 
Uh... Oh, you know what I forgot? You guys put calculator. That's what I forgot. Scrap rates, gold, calculator. See this missing fingernail? It's so good for typing. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll use this one. Okay, so we have 2.94 grams. 2.94. Um, okay, there's penny weight. Okay, and we're going to go 14K and their grams. This is a scrap rate. Okay, so it's scrap. These are worth $107, okay? Kristen told me once that you at least double it, or that's what she says. She does, it, I should say. Um, so these are beautiful. They are 14 karat gold. I am going to ask 160, 160, you guys. They're absolutely beautiful, okay? I hope somebody loves them. 160 on those. And that's it for today, you guys. Oh, Bryn says that's it. Bryn popped her head up. She's like, I know what that means. <laughs> Can we eat? <laughs> I always push this too hard. There we go. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. And I won't see you now till Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern for our purse sale.